Hey everyone, Zeph here, and welcome to Crewman Mercenary Tales Overview. Seems like the developers are aiming for a more traditional combat rather than magic now. It's so funny when you have like a stamped way of doing things, if it's the art style or just the making games in general that you instantly can recognize the studio. And it's nice to see people going outside of their box because that's how you make it interesting here. So Crewman Mercenary Tales is an action-adventure game where through eight completely different scenarios you experience different kinds of storylines with completely different environments, slash your way through various challenges and conquer the Mercenary's Tavern. Very interesting stuff happening, especially in terms of the art style, because you can't necessarily say if it's bad or good since it's heavily styled for this specific game, which should avoid the performance issues because it's its own thing. It claims to set itself apart from all the others, you know, physics-based combat games, which I don't think it necessarily means it has its own engine, but from the looks of it, it's kind of scripted-based movements where you predict where the hit will land and then block it or parry it, then do a counter-attack, rinse and repeat. So we'll see how it's gonna feel like inside. If it's gonna have a good level of comedy and won't take itself seriously, then I think we're gonna be fine. Let's go to the gameplay. Stories. They are what makes us human. Telling them, listening to them, writing them down. It has always been the cornerstone of our civilization. You have been traveling for a long time now, going from one place to another, always finding new people to tell you their tales. This time is no different. The tavern you found is supposed to be a place in which only the most renowned travelers and adventurers gather. So come, come, hear their tales and welcome, welcome to Crimin. Interesting. So while you're like inside the game, the art style doesn't hit you directly, only when you kinda go close by. Because in the distance it looks like a pretty good like style overall. And the contours and just like the Hello Traveller! Hiya! You came here to listen to stories. Boy, do I have a great one for you. It's not. Donkey! Be quiet, and let me tell this person about my epic adventure! Am I having drifts already on the Pro Controllers? Like, that would be crazy. It's time for Quest 3, y'all. There you are, boy! That stupid donkey is lost again! Go and fetch it! A true hero never says no when he hears the call of a quest. What? Also, I'm kinda... small. But my guardian is correct, so... What's up with that? What the...? <laughs> I went to the ruined tower first to grab my sword. Who knew what ruffians had stolen my friend? I guess I have to clean them somehow. Chickens. The top of the tower served as my hideout. Every adventurer needs one, right? To keep their gear, treasures and your candies and whatnot. The funniest thing is that normally the drifts happen because of the dirt and stuff like that. This is clean. They like straight up, it was just conserved pretty well compared to the Quest 2 controllers. Now that's a view worthy of a legendary warrior. It looks okay to me, considering it's on standalone. But what do I do here? <laughs> Crazy. The top of the tower, I said. You dumb or something? Hey. 
Watch it. <laughs> it reminds me of climbing mechanics from the Dark Wizards. Yeah, they're exactly the same. <laughs> If Yaga saw me running on the roof, I'd be in a heap of trouble. Can I jump down? And then the chest it laid. A weapon that could slay demons and dragons. Ruin it, save empires. My vocal blade. Plus five against evildoers. <laughs> Probably equipped. Now I had to get on the roof to scout the area. Uh -huh. <laughs> to get to the roof, I'll use my clever up you go device. I wasn't sure, but I thought I saw some villains running away with a stolen donkey down in the back of the tavern. I had to save him or avenge him. I don't see anything. Whee! So I guess we were like a kid listening to the stories and stuff. There you are. Finally, some dim wit closed the door. My hooves aren't exactly as useful as poking thumbs. Come on, let me out. So all became clear. My enemies trapped my loyal companion. I had to free him. I thought my quest was over when suddenly a trap. What are you doing? Fighting against the evil one's henchmen. What? All right. Anyway, you're so skilled oh. and brave. So what about hitting his sword? Ouch! I had to hold my sword at the correct angle if I want to parry. But it doesn't connect like when it's across or whatever. Enough blocking. Now's my turn to attack. So it's either like that or that. Enough blocking. Now's my turn to attack. I mean, I don't mind it actually. Though it's just slashes. I can't thrust, but. Once again, I'm victorious! And you're saved, my friend! Yeah, yeah. Here we go already? It's different, for sure. Like, of course it's scripted or whatever, but... I like the gameplay overall when it's powering and then just attacking. It's just more dynamic rather than brainless slashing. before us. One of them was standing on a ledge. I had to somehow get rid of it. Whoa. <laughs> you hey, 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 hey. I'll go up and find the rope or something. Huh? Jesus. Power ups. Can I stay in one place, please? Donkeys have their ways. <laughs> what the? No. <laughs> we continued our journey. A valiant hero and his noble steed. But more villains awaited us on the way. I wonder if I keep spamming attacks, the game will like punish me. Though they don't really block my attacks so far. There was only one last obstacle between us and the tavern. 
A group of rogues hid behind a large gate. What are you waiting for? Grab a gun and shoot them. Shoot the what? Oh, I guess there's only one bullet or something. Critical hit. Nice. That evil doer. I lost my gun. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I want to do some tricks. Critical hit. I guess there are more. Ah, two. Okay. Fastest yeah. gun in the east. <laughs> that evil doer. Critical hit. Finally, we were safe back home. And from this day forward, no one would ever try to steal our donkey again. So, what do you think? An epic tale, eh? Wait till you hear about... All right, lad. You had your fun. Now they probably want to hear some other hero tales. But... Zip it! And you, traveler, just go inside the tavern. Because you've heard nothing yet. So far, it's cool. I just will see if the mechanics are more complicated because it's too simple. We did it! Finally, we were safe back home. And from this day forward, no one would ever try to steal our donkey again. Look for Anton, the Cossack. He's got a great story. Well, should be told, it's a bit too scary for me. But you. Let's go! That stupid donkey is lost again. Go and fetch it. Oh, a damn. true hero never says no I when he hears it. the call of a quest. <laughs> ah, my bad. And it's gonna take a long time to repeat it again. Let me in. <laughs> yeah, I can't really sacrifice more time. Okay, let's go. Oh well. It's a bad luck on my part, though the game should have a skip tutorial button somewhere. <laughs> There's not much to judge on, though from the mechanics here, it's fine. Maybe the enemies should parry more because it feels too simple. I like the whole dynamic though, with the guns and swords, like it's a good variety, at least for now. The graphics are cool, like from a distance, it looks more polished than close up. Which is maybe this kind of magic of this art style that is applied like on the standalone. It sucks there is no skip button. Maybe it's my fault or not, like it doesn't matter. But I'm keen on playing it more when? <laughs> Who knows, like nowadays everything is postponed. <laughs>